first thing here in McAllister City Limits you need to take a file report on. If not, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh no, I I, I don't I don't have to leave. Okay. Okay. You can you can you can do whatever you want, but I don't okay. have to leave. Okay. I can stay here as long as I'd like. Okay. I, I'm conducting business here. You can't tell me to leave. I'm as a matter of fact, you know you're out I'm of order right now. You that but you know you're out of order. If you, you know you're out of line. Oh, I, I'm, I'm a right. constitutional law scholar. I'm not okay. just some joke here. I sue lots of cops. So you can't tell me to leave a public building when I'm conducting business in that building. You should apologize to me as a, I'm, I'm the citizen. Just, just you are supposed you to be an authority. Why don't you say you're sorry? Why do, why do say I you're sorry. You can't ask me to leave here. Say you're sorry. You just misrepresented the authority you have. No, you said you're going to ask me to leave. I'm not leaving. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You're not going to do a damn thing. And if you do, I'll sue you personally under 1983. And then you'll face federal district court. And if you violated my rights, you face two years in prison. Do it. Or take your happy ass back to your office and flee like a little dog. Go. You've annoyed me. You don't tell me to leave a public building when I'm conducting business. Okay. So here is the McAllister Police Department in Oklahoma. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like right there. So there's that. Here it is. So here's what it looks like if you look at it like this. That's what the police department looks like. Employees entrance, and that's cop. How you doing? Just checking out your uh, police department here. I'm from California. California. Yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. How you doing, sir? Chili to Castro. Chili Tucker Curry. Nice to meet you. What's it? What is it? Tucker Curry. Tucker Curry. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Just just came here to uh, take a look around and just film the police department and just identify the officers in this town and say hello. Yeah, so this is actually the old federal building. This is the old federal building? Yeah, so the FBI used to actually be in this building. We, we ended up buying it from them. You bought this from the FBI? We didn't buy it, obviously, the city. Well, I mean, the city bought it for the FBI right. for the police department in McAllister, Oklahoma? Yes, sir. Okay. So we okay. We the old FBI building. We, re, we redid it, and they, they moved somewhere else. So, but we ended up taking it over. Would you consider McAllister to be, like, a, a city that upholds the rule of law? Yes. You uphold the rule of law? You took an oath to the Constitution? Correct. Right. So your oath is to the Constitution and not to your superior and not to your inferior? Yes and no. So we all have bosses we answer to, obviously. You took an oath to the Constitution? Correct. Right. So your oath is to the Constitution and not to your superior and not to your inferior? Yes and no. So we all have bosses we answer to, obviously. We all have um, departments and policies and they're saying set forth that I don't make those decisions. Elected right. officials obviously make but those decisions. But your oath number one is to the Constitution. Correct. So if a superior gives you a order or a directive that would go against our constitutional rights, you would object that. Correct. And say, I can't do that. I took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Correct. God bless you, sir. Yes, is this sir. open? Can I walk in? Um, actually, I think the only one open is over here on the north door. On the back? Okay, I'm yes, just going to walk in and say hello and introduce myself. Thank yes, you for sir. your time, Officer Curry. Yep. Officer Curry? I'm yes, sorry. Sir. Let me give you a right-handed handshake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, brother. I'm sorry about that. Listen, be safe tonight, and please be gentle with people. Please be gentle. Please. Have a good one. Appreciate that. Okay. That car's running. Let's take, oh, so here, there, there's the deputy chief's parking space right there. I guess he's out right now, though. He's out. He's out. So this is the McAllister Police Department. This door, oh, the door's open. Okay. So that's where we are. Let's wipe the camera off here. Wipe this camera off here. Try to wipe that off on the camera right there. Okay. McAllister Police Department right here. Very good. Okay. Okay. All right. 1999. It's a 1999 McAllister Police Department. 2001 McAllister Police Department. May 25th, 2005. Oh, canine unit, not good. McAllister Police Department. That's the McAllister Police Department. Very good. 
This is the 2012 McAllister police. Oh, look at the uniform change. See that? They went to a blue. See the blue shirts they're wearing? Is that a different level of police officer? 2015, man, looking spiffy now, wearing suit jackets and stuff. Interesting. Clerk's office is this way. So there's the clerk's office. Looks like a little interrogation room right there. Oklahoma Bureau of... Okay. They celebrate the... They commemorate the memories of people who, who passed that were police. Okay. Oh, 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 gosh. Everything was looking good till we got to this. Man, look, my, now my hand starts to shake. You can see it. Oh, look at that. Ugh. I mean, and then on my oath, I will never betray my badge, my integrity, my character, or the public trust. I will always have the courage to hold myself and others accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the constitution, my community, and the agency I serve. Zzz stops at the Constitution. But this blue striped flag is just, you know, we all know how we feel about that. That's just not good. Stairs, elevators, cameras here. I guess this is the plaque. I don't know what they did to get on the plaque, but they got somewhere here. That's that says restricted, so you can't go down because it does say restricted, so. The Carl Albert Building. Built in 1914. $135,000 they built this for in 1914. The structure served as the post office in the community until the primary purpose changed officers for U.S. congressmen, district courts, federal bureau of investigations, and other government agencies. Oh, that shows the whole how they built it. That's every phase of the building being built. Pretty cool. During construction, photographer Charles D. Webb captured construction progress through periodic images. Hey, how you doing? All right, how are you? Cool. You? Are you a police officer? I'm dispatch. Can I help you? Oh, how you doing? Oh, I'm just, just walking around filming, just looking at your building. Okay. How you doing? What's your name, sir? Moore. Hey, Moore. How you doing? Sorry, let me get my right hand clear. Nice to meet you, sir. All right. Nice to meet you. So this is uh, dispatcher Moore. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, no, you can't really help me do anything. I mean, is there more of the building that I can see besides just this little area here? Is there more that I can take pictures of and video. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? Is All there right. more? Or hey. Oh, is can, another. Can I help you? Hey, how you doing? All right. What's your name? Yeah, Sergeant Orr. Sergeant Orr, how you doing? Chili Castro. Right. Okay. Chili de Castro. Don't. Delete log. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. Are you don't afraid? Be are you afraid? No, I understand. Okay. okay. I don't want to scare you. Okay. I don't scare anybody. How you doing, man? Not too bad. So yeah, you know, you the your your police department. I was walking through, and here's the here's a couple glaring problems. Okay. Right, that are just horrible. Yeah. So the first one is this one. Like this is everything that people hate. Because your oath, now let me show you something. Let me show you, let me, let me show you. So you have this here, right? There's one thing. Then you come over here and then you have another one here in between the oath to the constitution. Okay. Do you see the, do, yeah. you, do you see the hypocrisy in that? Like your job, no control over that. Sergeant, but you, no, no, that is disgusting. And yeah. you, up, you, you swore an oath as a peace officer, correct? You didn't sign a law enforcement agreement. Okay, I was the one that hung these. I don't know who hung that garbage, but that's trash, and the people hate it okay. because that divides us. That blue. Are you afraid of COVID or something? I'm not trying to. I mean, right. it's just a man. I just want to make sure the people can see you, so that. Okay. I, I always give everybody a fair shake, man. I treat okay. you. You notice I treat you with respect, man. Sure, I'm, sure. I don't. Okay. I don't come up cursing you out. Now I'm disgusted with this. Okay. And I, the people here push a one if you guys are disgusted. A two if you love that blue striped terror flag here. And it says, even says the name of their police department on the terror flag in between the oath to the Constitution. Disgusting. Disgusting. Look, one, 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 one. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no control over that. Do you have any blue stripes on you? He doesn't. He has an American flag on him. Doing good. Mm -hmm. Doing good. The G.I. Joe stuff you could lose because you're not going to use it. We saw that in, you know, okay. in Uvalde. <laughs> They're okay. not going to use the G.I. Joe stuff. But I want to... Are you from around here, sir? Oh, no, I'm from California. California. Yeah, okay. my name's Chili. My channel is okay. called Delete Laws. Okay. I, I have no problem identifying myself to you. I got no problem with you as a person. I, I hope that you quit this job as soon as you can and find something noble to do with your life. But... But that doesn't mean that you and I as human beings, right. okay. you know, I yeah. pray for your soul. Okay, thank you, sir. I, I'm, I'm a okay. God-loving man, so I yeah. pray for you. You have your own opinions. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just, 
Well, no, no, not my opinions. Do you ever put people in handcuffs? Do you ever put people in handcuffs? Have you put people in handcuffs this week? Yes? Yes or no? Have you? Have you put anybody in handcuffs this week? Okay. So then you tortured someone. You tortured someone this week. No, I'm not going to say one way or the other. But you put, if you, have you put handcuffs in this month? I, I can't comment on that. You, what you, what you can't tell me okay. if you put people in Because just so you know, there's a tracker. Last night you arrested nine people here. Okay. You don't got to be afraid of me, dude. I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm half famous, dude. I'm not going to attack you, dude. Okay. There's okay. no way I attack you. All you right. attack me, I'm, I just curl up in a ball and I just go, no, please, sir, stop I'm, beating me, sir. I'm but I don't fight. I don't, I, don't, I don't fight you, dude. Okay. Look, there's 300 people watching. Cool. Like, I, I'm not going to okay. fight you, dude. Okay. Well, I know I, 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 know I look you. like a physical brute, though, right? No, I don't, I don't, no comment on that. No? So here's the reason why, though, what you do is horrific. You put people in those torture cuffs this week. And you don't even realize that you tortured another person this week. And that's why people really have lost a lot of respect for police officers in America. And I choose to, to use the, the politically correct vernacular, but most of these people don't. They, they have a real issue that you don't understand that the torture cuffs that you put on people, I'm not going to grab you, dude. He keeps on flinching and jumping. Okay. <laughs> I mean, are you really that scared of me, dude? No. I just told you I'm half famous. I identified myself. Mm -hmm. My name's Chili De Castro. It's my channel called Delete Laws. Now you can relax. I'm not going to grab you. I am not going to grab you, dude. Okay, good. I guarantee you I am not going to grab you. Does everybody agree? <laughs> I'm not going to grab this cop in, in, in the middle of a tiny town in Oklahoma. How's that jail going to go for me? <laughs> How's it going to go? Tell me. So then when you took someone in the torture cuffs to the dungeon, then they had to turn around, squat, and cough and show their, their, their no, naked. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that anything. You guys don't do strip searches? Not here at the police department, no. But at the jail, when you take them to the jail, do you make them turn? I don't know what they do. We turn them over to the sheriff's department. So you don't know what they do there? Have Correct. you? So have you been arrested before? I have not. So, well, let me just tell you the process. First, you torture me in cuffs. Then you slide me in a tiny little area where I barely fit. I'm claustrophobic, so it starts to freak me out. My shoulders are big and burly. That's why you're afraid. Yeah, and no so, so then what happens head. next? You take me to the dungeon, drop me off. They treat me like total crap. I can't look at them in the eyes. I have to look at the floor. And then if I give any kind of resistance and don't give them full dominion over my fingers as they fingerprint me, then what happens next is they slam my head into the wall. That's happened to me once. So I don't ever resist now. I just let them put their fingers over the, the thing. And then after that, they take me to a tiny room, make me strip down naked. And then you know what they do? They make me turn around, spread my butt cheeks, and look up my butthole. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do I look like I'm on intravenous drugs? Do I look like I'm shooting up heroin? I seem pretty articulate, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. So, but see, you don't know what you do. You just said, I take people and then I give them to the sheriff. Well, let me tell you what you do. You drop them off at a rape cage. I got a guy in LA. I got a story on camera. He got picked up for not paying traffic ticket. He's now HIV positive because yeah. he got dropped off at a rape cage for a ticket. He's straight. He got raped. Dude, yeah. you're so afraid no, of me, man. You're so, no you're so, you're so scared, dude. How about if I stand over here? Will you not be scared? I'm not scared of you, sir. You keep on flinching. Like, I'm not your enemy, dude. I'm your friend. Okay. I support law and order. I'm not a sovereign okay. citizen. Okay. I'm for rule of law. But you understand, I don't know you. Dude, there's, there's, there's 315 people watching. That doesn't mean that I know you. So now all of a sudden I'm going to pull out my magic phone gun and start like, 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 dude, I got a phone in each hand. I got headphones on. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing flip-flops. I'm not going to fight you. I walked into your department. Okay. You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm, I can stand right next to you, dude. I'm like your brother. I'm not going to attack. If someone attacked you, I would pull them off. Okay. Like, but you, the, the flinching and shit, it's like, it's like, it's, it's like come on, dude. Yeah, I'm not flinching. No, you, no, you flinched a couple times. Okay. Um, <laughs> like you flinched a few times, man. Like you're scared. It's, it's, it's sad because you, you have no reason to be afraid of me. Okay. I'm, I'm you, not a violent are you person. Are victim of anything here in McAllister City limits you need to take a follow report on? If not, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh no, I I, I don't I don't have to leave. Okay. Okay. You can you can you can do whatever you want, but I don't okay. have to leave. Okay. I can stay here as long as I like. Okay. I, I'm conducting business here. You can't tell me to leave. I'm as a matter of fact, you know you're out I'm of just order right now. You that but you know you're out of order. If you, you know you're out of line. Oh, I, I'm, not I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm not okay. just some joke here. I sue lots of cops. So you can't tell me to leave a public building when I'm conducting business in that building. You should apologize to me as a, I'm, I'm the just, citizen. I'm you are supposed you to be an authority. Why don't you say you're sorry? Why don't, why don't say I you're sorry. Say I'm not going to you can't sorry. ask me to leave here. I haven't done anything say you're sorry. I'm sorry about. You just misrepresented the I authority asked, you asked have. You need to follow a report or no, you said you're going to ask me to leave. I'm not leaving. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Well, you're not going to do a damn thing. And if you do, I'll sue you personally under 1983. And then you'll face federal district court. And if you violated my rights, you face two years in prison. Okay. Do it.
Right. Or take your happy ass back to your office and okay. flee okay. like a little dog. Have yourself a good day. Go. Okay. You've annoyed me. Okay. You don't tell me to leave a public building when I'm conducting business. Okay. I have every right to be here. Don't you ever misrepresent your authority. You're that's why people called me and that's why I came here. You're starting to shake. I'm pissed off, dude. I'm, yeah. You don't tell me to leave. You should apologize. Okay. I'm not going to attack you, dude. Don't be scared. You should apologize right now. I'm so fucking pissed off. Excuse my language, people. I'm, I apologize. I'm, I'm I, I don't like it when people who have claimed the right to be in charge of my constitutional rights, his job is to uphold my civil liberties, to protect my rights. I'm asking you if you need any To, to, to allow me to do my filming as a First Amendment person and, and protect me in that process. That's his job. And he just told me to leave. Of course I'm incensed. Apologize, sir. I would never misrepresent your authority to uphold the rights of others. That's your job. You signed a peace officer's agreement. Am I incorrect about that, sir? Oh, no comment on that. You signed a peace, you have to say it. You signed a peace officer. We don't have the same rules, me and you, sir. You have to identify yourself and recognize if you are a peace officer in this country, that is your duty. Yes, I'm a police officer. Okay, then you swore an oath to uphold the constitution. Okay. You just asked me to leave when I'm a member of the press. I mean, that's disgusting. I, I asked you if you need to follow up. No, you, then you said you are going to ask me to leave. I'm not leaving. Now what are you going to do? Okay. Well, now what happens? Are we at an impasse here? Because you've been flinching and you're scared of me the whole time. I I'm just a person. Know. And I, now you see you got me upset because my hand's shaking. Yeah. I can see that. Okay, yeah, I'm pissed off. Dude, you're supposed to uphold my rights. Listen, a, apart from... Yes, apart, if you need to follow a report, I'll definitely take Apart report from, from YouTube, you. if I report on you, nothing's going to happen. Apart from YouTube, I'm on a bigger mission to show that this system is broken and you're proving it. I'm just asking you if you're a victim of anything. No, you asked me to leave, sir, and I didn't do anything wrong to what you. I didn't assault or, or, or harass or molest is or there, cause a nuisance to anybody. Is there anything I can do for you? You can uphold your oath to the Constitution and apologize to the people watching. Uh, there's nothing I, that I know of that I need to apologize about. I think you're sorry, dude. That's what I think. Everybody's I think, I think you're sorry. It, it, originally you came out, I treated you with respect and dignity, mm -hmm. shook your hand, and instead of you acting like a real authority to uphold my rights, you tried to go around my rights and tell me to leave when I'm doing my job. Okay. You want me to stop doing my job? Are you going to stop you me do. from doing my job? Are you going to physically stop me? Are you going to physically stop me from doing my job? I'm not going to physically do that. Okay. Well, then I'm going to walk around here and take some videos. Okay. So okay. If, if you're done, yes. then head on back. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Appreciate you. Okay. You want to come with me? You want to walk around with me? No, you can continue. But do you want to come with me? No, I don't have to come, come with you. You can come walk around with me, man. No, it's all right. I, I don't have anything against you personally. Cool. I disagree with you. I don't you. have anything against you either. Right, but what you just did was despicable. It was despicable. Everybody's entitled to their own No, opinion. that was despicable. You're Everybody. here to uphold my rights. Okay. You're not here to tell me to leave when I'm doing my job. You know, they told me this place was disgusting. You're the first person I ran into and you told me to leave when I shook your hand and I showed you the degradation of the United States flag. That, that's a degradation of the flag. You know what that means? Do you know what the word means? A desecration. Do you follow? Do you, do you believe okay. in, you, yeah. you love this country? Sure. I love this country. I'm a patriot. I'm American. You have a blue striped flag there and a blue striped thing there. You uphold the constitution. How can you, you can't have two gods. There's one God, it's the Constitution, it's my rights. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be protecting my rights. That's why I'm so upset with you. Yeah. And I'm just upset well, with you because I'm a person. You're upset with me. I'm not upset but, with you. Well, because you, you went outside the boundaries of what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to say, oh, you're being pressed right now? Okay, man, well, listen, let me show you the areas you can film and let me show you the restricted areas. If you walk over here, sir, you'll see that right down here, there's a restricted sign. So do me a favor, sir. Please don't go in the restricted areas. Hey, you know what, officer? No problem. I uphold and I respect the rule of law. So I'm going to do exactly as you asked me to do, and I won't go in those restricted areas. Is, public area. is there any other area, sir, that you think that I would, would benefit by filming to show the public what goes on in McAllister, Oklahoma? This, is, this first uh, level, this first floor. Anymore. This first floor? Yes. So all the way over here, and then this area here, and then, the, and then it kind of ends. Is this, is this an interrogation room right here? Is this, is this, where, it all, is this where it all goes down? You take reports in there? Yeah. And then I got a shot of all of the different classes. It looks like you guys spiffed up as you went on. It looks like you guys spiffed up when you went on. Okay. So, you know, I, I just, you know, what I feel like, he's gonna trip over himself backing away. He's gonna trip, he's gonna trip over the wall backing away from me as quickly as he can.
I've already told him there's thousands of people who will watch this. <laughs> Do you think I want to assault an officer on camera? <laughs> you think I want to go to a dungeon where they rape you? I would think Do you think not. that? I mean, I would think not. Do I not seem like I'm intelligent? Yes. So then why would I attack you, dude? Right. I hope you wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would actually help you. Oh, cool. Good if, deal. If, if they jumped on you, I would jump on them. Awesome. I would not watch someone, I would not watch the rule of law fail. It has to be upheld. It's awesome. the most important thing. Good to hear. There's nothing more important. So, you, are you going to say you're sorry? There's nothing that I... I mean, are you going to... You, 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 you effed up, dude. You're on camera telling me leave. You want me to leave. And you, you, you thought I was just some dunce cap who's a First Amendment fraud editor. There's a bunch of fakes on YouTube who say they're for justice, say they're for liberty, mm -hmm. but they don't know a damn thing about America. Right. And they openly say they hate the Constitution. Those people are tyrants just as bad as half of your colleagues. You know? And I came down here because when I initially met the chief of police in the street, mm -hmm. I amicably shook his hand and said, hello, how you doing? Good to meet you. And then you know what he did? He acted like a real kind of standoffish, like I was dr driving away as I was talking to him, like the cameras is raid for cops. And I used to say cop roaches, but I'm trying to do my best mm -hmm. because I don't hate you. Cool. I don't. I, don't. Hate you. I, I mean, I, I, would, I think we'd be on the same softball team. I think you're a normal person. Yes. But you've chosen to join the Death Star. And because of that, you don't understand that the torture cuffs you use are the half the reason why I hated cops, openly hated you for decades. And why I am a constitutional law scholar is because of what you guys did to me. Hmm. Well, I hate to hear that. It's, it's atrocious what you guys did to me. Hmm. No knock raided my house twice, torture cuffed me, SWAT team, you know, guns to my head. And I had no victims, hmm. no victims. Hmm. See, I don't know anything about Oh, that. dude, they raided my house, full-on SWAT team, lasers in my eyes. My mm. eyes were flooded with lasers. Mm. I heard the door kick, and I put my hands up, and I just laid back in my bed, and I knew this was the second time they were coming. Mm. And I told my girlfriend they're coming, and she was in her teddy, and then they grabbed her and pulled her away from me as though she was a victim of some cartel drug dealer, which I wasn't, and I beat all my charges. So it's just like, it's like, you guys created the people like me who are, who, I'm against you. I don't want cops anymore. I want peace officers. Mm -hmm. I want the entire ideology to change. I mean, are you, for, are you for upholding rights instead of law enforcing? Well, I think it consists of both, yes. No, no, because so. if, my, if my wife beats me up and I call you and you come into my home to, to protect me because my wife beat me up and there's marijuana in my ashtray, if you're a law enforcer, then you're looking to arrest me for the marijuana instead of upholding my rights. You see the difference? You can't have law enforcers and peace officers in the same sentence. It doesn't work. It's like gun and law. They just don't go together. They just don't work, right? Thou shalt not be infringed. Okay. Right? You agree with that, right? Well, that's, that's your opinion, yes. But, you, but you're for the Second Amendment? You support our Second Amendment, yes. right? Yes. I mean, you carry a gun. Yes. So it sure. wouldn't be gun for me, but not for thee? Right. Right. Yeah, that's everybody. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, I just want people to realize where you stand as a person because your perspective will affect the job we hired you to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you're here to protect our rights. Mm -hmm. That's your function. And this crap here, this is such dog. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, forgive me. Dog shit. This is dog shit. This is terrorism. They cannot worship two gods. They cannot worship the thin blue stripe and uphold the constitution, can't be done. Because then their allegiance is to the guy who they're just gonna cheat or lie a little bit on their report. They're just gonna fudge it a little bit. Oh, they, they, maybe they'll just plant a gun here and there. James Sheets. So, so yeah, you know, I'm, okay. I'm a little disappointed in this, but if you're not gonna apologize, you're not gonna apologize, you know? You don't think you did anything wrong? Correct. Okay. 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 Okay, well, anything you wanna say to the thousands of people watching? No, thank you. Okay, okay. Well, all right then. So this is the 2019 McAllister Police Department here. <clears throat> So I guess he, he's going to go now, I guess. I guess he's going to have to go, huh? And is this the current chief? That's deputy. 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 
This is the guy I just saw in the car, right? That's the current chief. That's the guy who wouldn't talk to me. He wouldn't be nice. Anyway, I just, I just don't like uh, tyrants is all, you know? The guy told me to leave. <sighs> what an embarrassment. What an embarrassment. What an absolute embarrassment. I mean, the guy should just say he's sorry. Why doesn't he just apologize for his actions? Why doesn't he just say he's sorry for what he did? That would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Make sure you guys go by deletelaws.com. Get your indestructible trifold. Get the $5 trifold. You can get it for five bucks. Put the word $5 trifold in for the $15 one. You get it for five bucks. I have to make sure I always try to spread the word, try to get it to as many people as we can. Now that cop car right there is running. I mean, and look at the McAllister uh, Police Department car. Black, 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 black rims so they can hide. I mean, look at that. That's, that's where the money's going. That's where the money's going. I mean, and look at that one. Black, black, black. The only thing that's on, on it that's white is police. Everything else, and that's just so that you see that the police are coming after you. Disgusting. Just disgusting. I don't know. I, I mean... I mean, I would say they, I mean, because he told me to leave, I give him a, a, a D. I don't give him an F because he didn't try to touch me, but a lot of times they'll try to physically push themselves into me and I don't really appreciate that. So I would say McAllister Police Department, this, this one right here, this one gets, a, this, I give this one an F, a D minus, a D for, for trying to circumvent my rights and not uphold them. That's, that's how I see it. Sorry for the language. I didn't mean to uh, get too upset with the language. Well, there's that, isn't there? So, um, let me see if I can get the comments to come on here. Are you guys still there? Hit the number one button. Everybody hit the like button if you would, please. Uh, make sure you go by Delete Laws, get your We Don't Stop t-shirt. Uh, make sure you guys get a trifold in your car, ebook or e-poster. I always have to make sure that I try to keep the wheels on the car as I travel from city to city across this country, exposing that in McAllister, Oklahoma, they'll try to circumvent your rights if you don't know them. He told me to leave. For what? Why? Because I was filming. That's why. Just disgusting. Disgusting. Truly disgusting. I mean, an embarrassment, really. An embarrassment to the badge. That's what that was. That was an embarrassment. That truly, truly was an embarrassment. I found that just atrocious. It made me upset, actually. It made me literally upset. It's fine. It's fine. 